Yeah, hi. In this video, I would like to show you on um, what is the year and closing activities. To check the year and closing activities, you need to go to the um, um, periodic processing and then there is a year and closing here. So you can you can obviously see that um, as a reconciliation um, here, actually year and closing. So to do this year and closing, it will be done on every year end. So before closing year end, what you need to do is actually you need to uh, change the physical year. Let's say if you are uh, came from 2020 to 2021, don't close first. So you cannot close first. First every time you need to open. So because you should allow the the, the users uh, to be able to run the reports or, or uh, run the, uh, some asset postings. Asset posting still you can do. So this is a technical step you need to do at the start of the, on the first day of the year. If you don't do this, they, the users may not be able to run the fixed asset reports. So while executing this, you can see if you, um, um, before executing the physical year change, you need to go to the reconciliation. So the reconciliation is actually <clears throat> will be done and to check whether our FI and GL is matching. So let's say for every asset class, there will be one GL you will be created. So all the summarized value of the GL and summarized value of those asset classes must be matched. If it doesn't match, then there is some issue in the reconciliation. So to check, then this report will show you what the error it is. So you need to click on the report and then run this report. Click on, you can see here in the report, the system shows that okay this is actually the reconciliation program which is for the fixed asset if you see here the reconciliation program which is actually showing the FIAA GL list of accounts showing the differences so if you click on execute then if there is any differences so let's say then the system will turn out those differences comes from which of these so if there is no difference then the system will show this is the report how it is that error no error so everything is green here so if you look at here so everything is green so there is no error then the system says 24 records as added so click on OK first time when you're running in the training system everybody will get this kind of a, a message um, that uh, it's it's it will update uh, a different uh, transactions by the system so it will show this like a timer is running for every um, every time so it will show that So now you can see there is a difference here which is showing by the program here when you run the report. So because there is a difference which is showing for this GL account. So this GL account is showing for the zero L ledger. So these differences must be clarified before you are closing the physical year. So this is how you need to analyze these um, errors so this will be how to analyze these errors will be covered in the intermediate session so because once these errors are reported by the end users then and then and the, the the key users or or a power user or or some consultants will look into these in detail level to analyze the prob problem and then how to fix so here, this is a just a report I'm showing here, but the real problem must be fixed by in the intermediate level or advanced level. 
so not in this course so but this course yes how to run this report to sh to see those errors so now we see some of these errors so now you can see there is a carried forward difference so how to fix these errors will be explained in the different session and uh, the other course will be released soon after this course thank you so now you go back this is how you can check the reconciliation of the FIA you need to do this and then if anything you need to report it to um, the support teams uh, when you are doing this thank you